I think we can we can yeah. start with you. I'm gonna show. I I have done two things, but okay. The one of the two things uh, did it with Andrea and Tommaso, who are gonna just present that just at what. So I'm, okay. I'm gonna tell about the other thing. There was a ticket. Let me show you the ticket. So. Someone six years ago, this is not an old story. Six years six ago. Six years ago. Okay. <laughs> someone was as, the, the, the pseudo is like Aramais. They, they said, okay, I have an issue. Uh, when I have curved edges, it has no arrows. Okay. Okay. So it's not a, it's not a bug. It's a feature. In, in fact, because <laughs> unknown, unbeknownst to that person, um, the curvature of the edges uh, tells the direction of the edge. So the arrows are not necessary. And I also think that the curved edges are, are a better thing, but we could still have arrows with curved edges. Yeah. Like, why not? There might be edge cases, or uh, maybe I'm wrong. So, also, what I like is not what is the absolute truth. So, mm -hmm. okay, we decided to add this. It was, in fact, a, a damn rabbit hole to fix because uh, for that, I had to change the way the curved edges are, are drawn from Bezier curves that look like arcs of circles but are not really arcs of circles so yeah. i had to redraw all the edges and then do a lot of trigonometry so yeah <laughs> math right so computing angles and so on but basically skipping all the all the work where coding was not necessarily the most complicated the math was complicated to get then this is what you get now so before you didn't have any arrows with the curved edges and now you have them and it entailed also something that wasn't expected to me which is that they with the arrows the the curved edges have to stop at the arrow they can't go back to the center of the yep. note it's really a detail but mm -hmm. it's always these unexpected details that come only after you've taken the ticket and complicate your life that yeah. make you lose a lot of time this is the, the, the real life of coding is like that all the time so here it is um so just to, if you download giphy today it's not going to work so it's going to be basically the, the case for everyone this leaves um basically in a branch on the giphy github just just to show you how it works so basically the ticket is here it's going to be closed at some point but the, the giphy um code is organized with branches and i'm just going to show you uh, here's the list of branches a bunch of them are, have been created for this giphy week and then there's one so this is the one it's basically a copy of giphy with just that feature fixed we still have some cleaning to do before it gets merged but each of those uh, different features or bug fix live in branches that then we merge into the main part of giphy and when all of that is ready a release will be uh, published so when the next release come or the, the one after when we have time this will be in that's it yeah i think it's really interesting your case because as you said it was more difficult as you thought at f the first approach when you see it it, it can be a, an easy ticket two hours and it's okay but you had to redo all the curvature system or the link link uh, displaying system and um, i particularly uh, remember when we were at the restaurant and you were uh, drawing on the, on the table yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, some trigonometry and you know this kind of problem that just can't ex uh, escape your mind and can you tell us more about the um, again the, the difference between what how you thought it would be easy or not and the concrete uh, result so i thought it would last it would take me two hours it took me two days and that's because yeah. I had more things to do than I thought. I thought I thought I understood where it was and I could just fix it there, but it was in more places in the code than I thought. So I had to change more things. Well, maybe there's a good good outcome for that. We've, we've maybe cleaned more parts of the code than expected, so it's not lost, but yeah. that's why. I didn't know you were doing this, but I actually really support that <laughs> you're doing it uh, because when I was using Gephi and even if you google it or like look it up a lot of people don't know that the edges are drawn that way yeah it's sure. a very little known fact um, it's like a secret it's like an easter egg um, so I think it's a good idea just because arrows make it really easy to uh, visually at a glance know what direction it's going in point taken so this so, so far I've maintained the status quo in the software, which means when they didn't appear, they also disabled by default, but you can now enable them. But maybe this can convince me to do the other way around and show them by default. I just realized I had, uh, I had a question about undirected graphs. So what was happening when you were putting curved edges on a graph that was undirected? You shouldn't do that. <laughs> I mm -hmm. like curved edges. 
Yeah. You, you deviant. <laughs> it doesn't make it morally good. Because Sorry, basically Dan. you're you're adding um, arbitrary information. Yep. Uh, that So people who know that curved edges tell the edges are directed are not going to believe your network is directed even though it's not. Also it creates some balance and whatever. Now it, it, people can do whatever they want. I don't think that we prevent in Giphy the use of uh, curved edges for undirected graphs. We could. Mm. Um, why not? But uh, it makes some people sad like you. So definitely, we f okay. we feed their king if if that's sure. fine. Someone is saying uh, in the chat, uh, coders need needs two qualities: being lazy and optimistic. Optimistic often comes with the delayed drawbacks, but it helps starting think thinking it's going to be fast. Yes, I would not have taken this issue had I known how long it, yeah, it was. Yeah, I think so. 